The Kraken project did not end with the Karandi campaign. The analysis of the data and specimens gathered by the scientists of the National Natural Science Museum and members of the Marine Research Institute would provide important information on the biology of the Architusis and its habitat. The male court during the campaign provided new valuable knowledge about the reproduction and feeding of the species. And at the same time as the autopsy was being carried out, the museum specimens and archives were used for an in-depth study of the species that appeared in the images captured during the campaign. The species from the museum's collection of cephalopods and its computerized files were the means used by Dr. Oscar Soriano, a member of the Kraken project, to determine and study each one of the species captured by our cameras in the Karandi Trench. For weeks, Soriano put his patients to the test as he determined the genera and the species of the fish, crustaceans, planktonic, invertebrates, and even some small squid obtained from the hard disks of the cases placed in the buoys. The search for the Kraken was, for the time being at least, coming to an end. We had been unable to answer all the questions that would be resolved with a single image of this living legend. And all the members of Transglobe were determined to be the first to achieve it. Because if our campaign made one thing absolutely clear, it is that down there, in the perpetual darkness of the ocean depths of the coast of Asturias, hidden from and oblivious to the activities of man, the giant squid silently prowled.